Yo soy Laura Pastor, la concejal de Distrito 4, y estoy con Emily Cas Costello. Right? Co yeah, Costello, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it in English. No, but, that's good. <laughs> but, but I thought, okay, let me, let me translate it correctly. Emily, mucho más. Tell yeah. me about it. So Mucho Mas is a collaboration between myself, my friend Kathy Morillo, and her husband Patrick Morillo. It's our studio, it's our working space, it's also now become kind of a shop gallery, and we hold workshops, we sell our art, and um, we hold events, and it's been a lot of fun. So you were telling me about an event that you're going to be hosting on First Friday, October 5th. Right. And we were talking about the film Mi Vida Loca. Right. And I'm so excited to hear that the cast members from Mi Vida Loca are going to be here uh, talking uh, with uh, customers and artists and right. people. Right. Right. It's going to be a fun meet and greet. I mean, um, a lot of us remember that movie. A lot of us fell in love with that movie and in love with the characters. And they're actually coming from California just to be here with us. And we have a lot of activities planned, um, not only that evening, but that weekend. And you can find all that information on our website, muchamas.com, as well as on Facebook and Instagram. What's exciting about it is you're right. Me be the loco, all of us could relate to that. Some of the elements of the, of right. the show or the right. movie. That brings me back to my time of specifically right now in celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, mm -hmm. of the movies and the culture that Hispanic uh, people have, right. uh, our community has, right. and the different elements of our community. So uh, I'm glad to hear that they're going to be there because we can all relate to some of the elements of the movie. Right. I mean, not only can you personally relate to it, but it's such an iconic movie with iconic people that, you know, I saw the movie and immediately I could say, well, I kind of went to high school with a girl like that, <laughs> you know, in a good way. Right, right, right. Right. You know, in a strong, you know, these are strong women type um, characters. So we're excited to have them. We're really excited. Which to me, art is not only paintings, but it, art is also a feel of theater. Right. Art is telling a story. Exactly. And Mucho Mas, I feel like, tells that about our community because it's telling a story about our community and how important art is uh, part of our culture. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for saying that because that's the feeling that we want to convey. Um, that art is for everybody. Art doesn't know any socio um, bounds or economic boundaries or racial boundaries. Art is for everybody and we love celebrating our heritage through our art and um, bringing in those other elements as well as, you know, um, having guests come in so that the community can also enjoy them. So, yeah. So there are certain things as an artist, are there certain things that you stay within that area or do you uh, venture out and say, I'm going to go try this piece of, of, of material mm -hmm. or I'm going to experiment with um, mm -hmm. this type of a tactical piece item? Is there, how do, you, how do you choose or how do you go about uh, creating? Well, I've only been doing art full time for 10 years. I'm kind of a late bloomer in that area, so I do want to try everything I can. Um, I'm super inspired by Mexican folk artists and how they use whatever they find and whatever they have on hand to create their art. And I kind of find myself doing that the same way with my mixed media pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and with collage work and assemblage work. So yeah, I think it's pretty important to draw upon what you know. And um, I do draw upon my Mexican heritage for a lot of the creativity and inspiration I get in making my art. This is a, a love of both you, Kathy, and her husband. Right. How did you guys fuse together? You know, we've all known each other for, I'd say about the past 15 years. Um, me and Kathy both belong to the Phoenix Frida's Art Collective. It's a collective that she founded and I was asked to join it about 14 years ago. So that's how we began interacting. And as a matter of fact, Kathy was main inspiration for me quitting my full-time career and becoming a full-time artist. And so I feel very lucky to be able to be working with her and collaborating with the both of them and bringing the space to life and working on projects. So I'm excited. Because in, as I was growing up, uh, dance and music were part of my culture, well, was part of me growing up with right. the Baile for Corrigo. Mm -hmm. Art was definitely part of us. 
But what's so exciting is that you're still keeping this piece and element alive for generations, specifically in my daughter, who I see is just a natural artist in the sense of wanting to paint, wanting to uh, uh, build and collaborate. Mm -hmm. And so we, for me, this is exciting because I have a space to send her to or take, bring her to in order to do that. Exactly, and we have workshops that are for all ages. And um, it's just about letting, especially the younger generation know that, you know, be proud of who you are, be who you are, be proud of your heritage and celebrate it. I mean, you know, I'm half Czechoslovakian and half Mexican. I was raised by my grandparents who are Mexican. And so, you know, I feel when you create art and you do it with what you know, everyone's happy, especially yourself. Well, I also believe it builds uh, confidence right. within yourself. Right. And it also uh, develops pride within yourself. And then what you do is with your creations, you celebrate who you are. Exactly. And then not only that, you know, but you're sharing your heritage with other cultures as well. And so it builds an understanding and bridges, you know, some gaps that need to be bridged. Yes. It's, it's building a conversation exactly. of, of who you are. Exactly. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, mucho mas. Uh, we will have the address on, the, on our TV show, but really appreciate that you're still inspiring our community and that you're inspiring many generations to come. So thank really you. appreciate thank it. Thank you for thank visiting you. us. I am Councilwoman Laura Pastor in the heart of the city, Rockin' District 4.